Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Luqman, the Aussie Muslim, back again. And today I'll be reacting to a bit of controversial news that's happening here in Australia. So Sonny Bill Williams, who's a famous revert to Islam, a convert to Islam, he is a former professional rugby league and rugby union player. He used to play for the International New Zealand Rugby League and Rugby Union team and also played for a very popular rugby league team here in Australia known as the Canterbury Bulldogs. And he is also a professional boxer. So he's very well known here in Australia and New Zealand and quite well known internationally as well. So Sunny Bill reverted to Islam in 2009, which coincidentally is actually the same year that I also reverted to Islam, alhamdulillah. So Sunny Bill, he's come under a bit of scrutiny from non-Muslims. Basically, he's been working on establishing and building a new masjid in the city of Sydney, where he lives, in a town called Hertzville, I believe, south of Sydney. And the local people, the neighbors that live around where this masjid is being established, are not too happy about this at all. They've actually been protesting about this for some time. Now, in terms of legalities, Sunny Bill and the Muslims that are behind building this masjid have gone through all the proper legal requirements to have the local government council approval to establish the masjid. So there's no issues legally, but it's just these local people that are not happy. And this is no surprise. It's nothing new here in Australia. So guys, if you want to support the building of this masjid and help with the running costs, there will be a link in the description to make a donation for this great cause, inshallah. So here we have an Australian news report, an interview of our brother the sunny bill and also interviews with the locals that are complaining all right let's jump into it sporting superstar sunny bill williams is the front man for a new mosque the only issue local residents don't want it and an almighty feud has broken out see it's nothing against being a mosque it could be a Buddhist church, it could be a church, it could be anything. It shouldn't be in a residential area. We've stuck to... If it actually was a church, I wonder if they'll still be complaining. I mean, let's be honest here. If it was a church, would they be making so much noise and making so many protests? Yeah, I don't really think so, you know. Allahu alam, but, you know, yeah, it's just... I mean, w when it comes to mosques, there's always complaints being made, unfortunately. All the rules and regulations, and I just think it's a bit unfair, to be honest. And they were singing at Allah and all these sort of things. At that stage, that's when my daughter went and put cameras in at the front for my safety. We've had to put cameras, and it's not just us, it's the whole street. I don't think anyone understands the impact that this is having on all the residents. Cameras for what? What are they worried about? So the elderly woman, she's, which I believe is the mother of that lady, she said they were announcing Allah, and now she's worried, and they have to put up cameras. I don't understand like I mean they're worried that the Muslims are going to attack them or something it sounds a bit over the top and a bit silly if you ask me we see this battle time and time again only this time it's a sporting superstar who's been accused of using his celebrity status to get this controversial building across the line yeah of course he's using his celebrity status to help obviously because he's well known it, it helps to get more attention it's just like with popular muslim scholars and people of knowledge like mufti mank or you know whoever else that people know about charity organizations they get these people that are well known on board to help promote and to help raise funds this is normal this is nothing like there's nothing controversial about that the penny is this the big bad wolf big bad wolf <laughs> Sonny Bill Williams is used to big hits on the footy field and in the ring. But now he's copping an almighty spray for plugging a new mosque. Beautiful brothers and sisters, we are here. I'm joined by Sheikh Kamal, alhamdulillah, and we are here in front of the new Hurstful Masjid. Sheikh, you want to give us an update? Oh, please don't get me on Sonny Bill Williams. No, he, he's got a, he, he needs to be educated on all of this, that man. Yeah, Mosque neighbors on what? are smashing the former football player for supposedly spreading fake news. To begin with, played in lies. Now, Sonny Bill Williams is hitting back. I've been hit up so many times to do an interview about this. And all I want is just some fair reporting. Control. Right then, let's kick things off with a disclaimer. Williams is contracted to Nine Entertainment, the owner of Channel Nine and this program. Williams is also a devout Muslim and is promoting a controversial new mosque being built in Carlton near Hurstville in Sydney South. So Sheikh, we're on the second floor and this is where the woman's musallah will be? 
neighbours have been fighting this development Shoulder. for years. Not in our tree! Not in our tree! Uh, <laughs> come on, the signs, really? They're putting these signs on their fences and stuff? Like, come on. Are you serious? In oh battle in the New South Wales Land and Environment Court, the mosque was given the go-ahead to be built on the site of an old retirement home. What's the difference to having a mosque here than a retirement village? The retirement village didn't get many people going in constantly. They have currently 20 people going in. Um, you would have visitors, you would have staff going in and out, using up car spaces. Wouldn't be that much different. I mean, alhamdulillah, we pray five times a day, but it's not like all the Muslims are going to come for all five prayers. You know, people have to work and stuff. The only real busy time will be on Juma, which is on the Fridays, but that's only for one hour in the day maximum. The more Muslims are going to come and then they'll leave within one hour. Everyone will be gone and there'll be plenty of car spaces. It's nothing really to worry about. Five times a day for the public place of worship. Stella lives opposite the new mosque site. She accuses Sonny Bill Williams of promoting future events there on... Even for the five daily prayers, it's short. The prayers are short. Maximum half an hour, you're going to have people that are there and gone within half an hour. That's it. Maybe a couple of people stay back to do a bit of extra worship, read some Quran, extra prayers, something like that. But you're not going to have 20 people that are there and they're just staying there for hours and taking up the car spaces. It's, it's a big overreaction, really. SubhanAllah social media that will see more people attend than what's allowed. Wedding services, there'll be funeral services, like, you know, a hub. I would never have thought Sunny Bill Williams would be doing that either. False advertisement in a residential area. Williams makes no apology. Uh, me, I guess, being, um, I guess, loud on social media, for example, about the places. Yeah. What's the false advertising? I don't understand. Advertising the establishment of the masjid, it's being built, it's going to be utilized, people can come and pray. What's false advertising? It's, you know, it's the normal thing. I'm proud. I'm proud, brother. That's it. Um, there's masjids all around Sydney. So me saying that this place is open for worship, inshallah soon. Child. You know, not all the Muslims in Sydney are going to come here. That's another point. There's a lot of massaged mosques in Sydney. Like, not all the Muslims are going to come because Sunny Bill's saying, oh, there's a new masjid. So all the Muslims of Sydney are all going to come to that one masjid. That's, that's not how it works. Everyone's got their local masjid that's closest to them where they live and they go to. That's it, you know. Stella's mum, Roslyn, is dreading the potential increase in traffic. Yeah, I might be working afternoon shift or night shift or morning shift. You know, I've got to block all this out now. How am I going to block the noise out? How am I going to get my sleep? Where's, what about us? We're the rape. Okay. <sighs> Look, I feel sorry for her. She's an elderly lady. She's expressing herself. And she has every right to. If she's really concerned about these things. But I think she's just a bit ignorant like the other people about what's really going to be happening. And it's just a, a bit of an overreaction, in my opinion. In terms of noise, there's no loud noises. Okay, when we have the five daily prayers, we have what's called the Adhan for any non-Muslims that are watching. It's called the Adhan, which is the call to prayer. So in general, we have the Adhan called inside the masjid, whether it's by vocal voice or microphone, but it's not that loud. They're not going to make it like it's so loud where you can hear it outside and it's going to disturb all the neighbors. It doesn't have to be like that. And if the neighbors do hear that it's a bit too loud, then they can come to the masjid and just speak to the Muslims there and say, look, it's bothering us. And the Muslims will comply. We're not, we're not bad people. Being good towards our neighbors, whether they're Muslim or not Muslim, it's a requirement and obligated upon us as Muslims. If our neighbors have any issues, they want those issues addressed and it involves us being the neighbors and to sort it out and to have good conduct, good character towards our neighbors and show respect all the time. This is something that is highly, highly, highly promoted in Islam. And if they just do a bit of, you know, proper research and learn about Islam from Muslims, from Imams, they can come to know these things. Look, you know, it looks like inshallah, the masjid is going ahead 100% inshallah. So I think the Muslims, um, you know, like Sunny Bill and the other Muslims that are going to be going to the masjid and are part of the Muslim council, they should go and speak to the neighbors, try and uh, build some bridges of understanding and try and remove these sort of stereotypes that these locals have in their minds about, you know, our, our faith of Islam and us as Muslims, you know, any sort of negative, false 
stereotypes and ideas they have about us and about our faith just go and meet with them speak with them and i'm sure inshallah as long as we show good character towards them all these issues will be cleared up inshallah i understand their concerns but we've we've done our utmost we've done our due diligence we've knocked out knocked down pretty much half the potential masjid um, to facilitate or to cater for more car parks, spaces. Alhamdulillah. I don't know what more we can do, man. This fight's also been dogged by allegations of intimidation, which Rosalind claims has left her scared to sit on her front porch. Well, I've got to hide in my backyard all the time, hide in my house. Okay, so it looks like, um, uh, you know, it seems like some brothers are sort of going a bit rogue and they're taking down some signs. They're not happy about these signs. But look at this sign. Protect our kids. What are they trying to say with this sign? If, if the sign just said, we don't want a mosque, okay, that's you have the right to protest, whatever. But protect our kids. What do they think we are? That's just silly. If you think Muslims are going to do something to your kids. And that just clearly shows that some of these people, some of these locals are bigoted. It's just silly. It's just ridiculous. I mean, that sign is just ridiculous. Why should I have to do that? I don't think it's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Putting up a sign saying protect our kids, saying that like Muslims are violent people that hurt children. That's what you're saying by putting up that sign. And that's just ridiculous. That's not fair at all. It creates this negative image. This whole segment and the interviews with the locals is just dramatic. It's very dramatic and it's overdone, if you ask me. I can't control everything. Williams might not be able to control everything, but he is calling for common sense from anyone going rogue. Sabah, patience. Come on, boys. Come on, you know. Um, people of this community, you know, if we want to, for us as Muslims, we want to um, have this place as a bit of a hub for our kids, our kids' kids, to learn about our beautiful religion. And, 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 Inshallah. And, and making that possible, we have to form relationships with those around us. I can't 100%. We have to form relationships with those around us, with the neighbors, the locals. You know, we have to show good character. Even if they're not happy with the building of the masjid, definitely don't go around and, and having arguments with the locals. No, we need to build bridges of understanding, of course, and there should be a mutual respect, inshallah. I'm Bill Williams for people abusing my mother. If he can stop the harassment, we might not get somewhere, but... Who's abusing your mother? The, 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 the segment is almost over and there hasn't been one mention. All it showed was some guys taking down some signs. Didn't mention anything about any Muslims uh, yelling out abuse towards her mother. Nothing like that has been said. I don't understand. Like, what is she talking about? We will still see how it goes. So whose fault is this? Councils. I mean, it's councils all the way. The of mind for Williams right now is getting the mosque built. The Roosters jersey that I played in in 2013 when we won the competition. He and close mate Anthony Mundine have donated. So Anthony Mundine on the right, he's an Aboriginal Australian, a native Australian, and he's a well-known famous uh, revert to Islam as well. He, he was also a professional uh, rugby league player, one of the best rugby league players of all time, really. And also he was a professional boxer as well. So him and Sonny Bill share a lot in common, having played in the same sports and also reverting to Islam, alhamdulillah. Did money and auction items towards the project. It's Australia. Alhamdulillah, thank God. It's a, you know, everyone's, everyone is free to worship what they want to worship and, and practice that worship. So that's all we're doing. No more traffic or noise, no increase. That's all they have to, that's all they have to complain about. Uh, going back to what that lady was saying, like her mother being abused or something, uh, where's the sign saying no abuse? It's like that, that's just a lie. Like it's not even happening. I don't even understand that. But yeah, pretty much all they have to say is like, oh, the parking and the traffic and the noise. I already talked about the noise. It's, there's not going to be any noise. Even if there is a bit of noise, they can speak to the to the Muslims at the masjid and it can get sorted out peacefully with no issues, inshallah. Um, yeah. With time, the neighbors will see with... It is a joke. Max 120 people for 2,000 square meters. Say no to public worship. Okay, so I guess legally, um, you can have a, up to 120 people for 2,000 square meters for a, um, for a place of worship. So she's saying no to, to public worship. Okay. Say no to increased traffic and noise to residential zone. Again, I don't. there's not going to be many issues, really. We're good people. 
you know so and and keep our kids safe from traffic is this what they mean by protect our children because of the traffic i don't you know i don't see any yeah i don't see how that can be an issue i mean look at where this sign is look at how many cars there are already parked on the road in the middle of the day it's it's it looks so busy there's so many cars on this road like so what difference is it going to make and with time we can hopefully you know form a bit of a relationship i think once it's established and musallis muslims they start attending the masjid and and performing the prayers there i think they'll come to the realization that they were just overreacting but of course muslims need to work hard to build good relationships with those neighbors and we should do the same for any masajid any of our local masajid that we go to if there's any issues with neighbors we should we, we should have those uh, issues cleared up try our best you know peacefully and show good character towards our neighbors inshallah anyways that's it for me today guys let me know in the comments what you think about what's going on again there's a link in the description to make donations if you want to donate to this great cause inshallah and guys if you want to support my channel don't forget to subscribe i can't do this without your help leave a like leave a comment and if you want to support my channel as well i have a patreon link in this in the description that's it for me today assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh